Um, so this is IDT 585 com, no, 575 com 375 on Tuesday, February 7th. And now that Shane has arrived, we can officially start the class. So I'm gonna spend a few minutes here. Um, so the process generally is that I will create these little critiques and those are definitely worth looking at um, because I might give you comments on them. Um, and you should look at not only the critique of yours but the critique of others because that's where the primary teaching happens. Um, so I think this is SIDS, right? Yes, and um, so in general, um, I'm going to open this up so I can mess with it instead of looking at it in the um, um, on the server side. So these are all the ones that I've critiqued so far, and they should now be alphabetical. So why don't I see the Sydney one? There it is. Sydney, there we go. Okay, so a couple things I forgot to mention is um, you should use a subtitle, and the subtitle should be the um, URL of your of your actual of your original, right? So in your original, you should put the subtitle in, and maybe you did. Let's look at your original one before I trash you publicly in class. Yeah, you did. Look at that. I was going to say it. I did it, she said. I swear I did it. And so that's my fault. I, I need to um, bring those over, I guess. That's interesting. That's interesting that didn't stick. That's kind of weird. So I'll try to make sure that that happens. So there's a link to the original. Um, and so, Sid, though, you didn't do tags. Tags. Um, let me open it. Um, so that kind of confused me. Unless I'm missing them. Maybe I tried, but... You've got a tag for shapes. <laughs> but you had the whole point of the third wiki was that you tag objects by their characteristics, color, shape, size. Yeah. And so you don't have any tags in yours, so you can't, that's why you can't do much. Um, I think I went ahead and tagged. I tagged a few of them, small pink triangle, circle, large black and large pink triangle. Okay, with a size, a color, and a shape, and I tagged them all, so that's why you can do something. So in yours, um, there wasn't a home set, so we don't have any home here. And, um, and you've got a list of your objects here, um, which I think are just, you brute force them, you type them in, or drag them in, or something. Oh, uh, my objects? Yeah. Yeah, I like took yours and put it into mine, and then I edited it. Yeah. Um, except, I think so these are your. This is where you're doing these, right? Um, yeah. so yeah, so you took this list. Yeah. yeah. But you didn't do this part, make tag tiddler shapes. Oh, no, nice. <laughs> yeah. So you got to do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, you, you like, you're missing half these time. Uh huh. That's half. Object tiddlers and tag tiddlers. It's like you got to have them both, otherwise there's nothing happening. Okay. So, yeah, so, don't, so work on that. Hey, John, nobody likes to come to campus anymore. John, where are you? He, he hid. 
Hello, say. How are you? Hi, Shane. How are you? Okay. So, um, so if I, I do the crits, go back. I mean, it's not, you can go back and do it and add on to it and submit it again and I'll review it again. Um, so you want to keep moving these forward. So, um, uh, Shane, did you look at the crit that I did for you on the, yeah. So take a look at the stuff and you should look at everybody's. I mean, there's a whole line of them and there's, a, as I mentioned before, there's a lot of teaching that happens in the critiques. That's where I'm going to put new code and new toys and new things to play with. It's not just in the critique of yours, but everybody. So you're so, you notice there's not a lot of reading for this class. The reading is really focused in looking at the, these wikis so that you can see the code. Um, so um, I had very nice things to say about yours. Um, you just don't forget to set the default to playing with objects and you did a fine job there with lists and yes, you did good. So I didn't teach you much in yours. Um, but, and, um, so Billy's, um, nothing there. Yeah. Okay. So I think we did yours in class. So, so that's why there's not much. Of, so this is pretty cool, by the way. Um, if you want to look at, you know, his use of these, um, why doesn't this go down the next dimension? It just doesn't. Okay. Yeah. But if we change, yeah. <coughs> There we go. Right. Okay. So yeah, you, so this is a, it's another navigational scheme. Um, so that's nicely done. I'm not going to save this. Okay. Um, so the TOC is good because it's the table of contents macros are good because they kind of give you an opportunity to play with the whole set of tiddlers, but we're going to talk about the, there's a little bit, not a flaw, but there's a certain, hierarchy imposed in a table of contents that you might not always want to have. Um, so this is going back like a week now. Let's see if I did anything in says. Um, yeah. So this is the TOC and yours looked pretty, yours looked fine. Um, so I think I played with the ones that were a little bit, that came in a little bit later. Um, and so we'll look at Lindsay's. Okay, so here's where I start to play with um, the X tabs macro. Um, and I played with that in a couple of pieces. Anybody take a look at these or you want me to sort of go over what's happening here? Anybody see any of this or is this new to each of you? Okay, John, are you still here? John's here and David, did you see did you see the X tabs macro or is this all new? No, I I've seen like the chart, like yeah. the uh, table below, but no. So, so when you see something called a macro, generally you can click on it and you look at the um I'm gonna close some of these other tiddlers and see whoever we're looking at. Um so we get a chance to see more. Um And so this looks like it's fairly kind of complex code, which it kind of is, but you don't really need to understand it to use it. You need to see how it works and then you can play with it. And so you can go ahead and, and Sid, you could use this in yours and Bill, you might want to use this. Bill, you might want to play with this or say Shane and anyway, you can just drag it in. But what it does is it creates um, rows and columns Let's go back and look at the home. Um, so this is games, age versus type. And so it looks like the age is in the row. So we've got adult and child and type is in the columns. We've got board and card. And then that's the 
image or the text field, and this is the title of the tiddler. Okay. Um, and so then, and if you look at the code for this, it's, um, it's just these lines. I'll put, I'm going to um, put these in a new tiddler so that you can see that it's just that. Okay, so it calls xtab, gives it two names of tags, and it puts the first tag in the row and the second tab in the column. So, um, to bring that over to yours, how would you do that? If you wanted to have this functionality in your wiki, how would you do that? So let's find says. Okay, here's says. This is my. I'm going to go to my copy of says wiki. Okay. And if I wanted to have X tab macro and says, I can drag and drop it. I've got the tiddler now. I'm moving it around. I go to the wiki I want to put it in, import it. It's good to go. And say, what are your tags in third wiki? I think it's color and shape, and it's X tab, not X tabs. Yeah. Okay. Um, and right now you can only do two at a time, even though you're working with three. Um, looks like you're missing small reds. Um, So you can flip it around. Um, and this gives you a way to look at two dimensions at a time. And of course, you can work with any tabs. Um, if you didn't like the fact that it had the shape and the title of the tiddler, where would you begin to play with that? Where would you begin to understand, like, how are you going to mess with that? Um, hello, say, <laughs> um, this code, the macro code is editable and, um, I'm going to let you all play with that. Drag X tab into your wiki and see if you can modify the code, um, to change what happens inside the cell. Okay. Um, is there a way to um, allow the table to expand? So you've got two um, able tags at this point. Could you put three or four in at some point, or is it limited to two in that particular macro? This macro is limited to two. Um, how would you interpret? How would you present a third one? A third dimension in this particular macro, or in general? In general. Um, if you had the table, can you bring back up the table that we have right there, like we just had down there? Okay. If you were to, so you had circle, square, um, large, small. What was the other dimension we were having there? Um, um, size, color, uh, color. Was it? Oh, it was color. You're right. We did size. It would be it would be a nine by or a three by three instead of a. Um, where I screwed something up there in my thinking here. It would expand it to include, um, it'd be like a, uh, I'm not getting the word here. Never mind, my brain just you're died. On, you're, you're on the right track, and that's exactly the question I'm hoping to get. <coughs> what would a table look like that had three dimensions? Um, so you got large and small, circle and square. Um, 
then you're going to bring in the color aspect. So you'd say, okay, we've got red and black. It'd be like if if uh, if you looked at the, uh, I don't know what the game's called, where you, you drag one to the other, and it says this is the same as this. It'd be more like a um, line chart, if I'm thinking right. I don't know how I'm thinking. What would, a, what would a table look like that had these three dimensions? Anybody here? David's got the right question. He's, he's missing the answer. Well, let's do it in a spreadsheet. So right now what we've got, circle, square, where'd my circle, what the hell? Okay, so we've got circle, square, large, small, right? Um, how would you put a third dimension in this? Like color, where would you put color? Ah, got it. So it's so you have to repeat one of the dimensions because we're only in our minds. We only we're working on a flat surface that's two dimensional. And so you can't get a third dimension on a flat surface without repeating that third dimension. You know, see what I mean by repeating? Notice I have red, black, red, black. You have to repeat one of the dimensions. Um, so this cell is going to be circle. What do we have? I can't circle red. Circle red, circle black. And large. And large. Um, I forget how to do it. There it is. There it is, okay. Um, and I've got to lock these down a little bit so the formulas, I can copy them. Um, so f this is actually... It's not quite right, but I'm messing up. I'm not going to spend my time on the Excel right now. But you see, so how could we build this same logic in TiddlyWiki? You can go back through that macro. And we had to add columns. So you'd, you'd have to kind of work through it. In this class, most of that code, um, I'd love to see people start developing that kind of code, um, a three-way cross-tab, that would be cool. Um, um, but it's, it's mostly about working with these objects um, and being able to display them that I'm interested in. What would another way be to display this in three dimensions? I'm working on, um, I think I, sh I, I buried this right now. I have to bring it out for you. Um, where did I put it? So I'm playing with cubes, like the one on the upper left there. And I've been stuck in my head trying to visualize how this would work in code. So what you're seeing there is one, two, three, four, four, eight, twelve boxes of different colors. And somehow, in my mind, there's a way to do it. I just don't know how to make it work. Um, so that side that's got the blue and the green could be circles and squares. <laughs> got the red and the orange 
could be um, colors, reds and oranges. And that top side there, that's actually kind of, I think it's backwards, but that's yellow and white. Those could be large and smalls. Am I just on drugs here? Or does somebody else see how this could potentially work as a three no, way to I take it three dimensional space? I see it. I just don't know how we try to create it. That's the kind of where. But that's what we want to do. It's like, oh, that's cool. How can I create that? So, Sid, do you see how that would work in three dimensions? No. Bill, you say, or, or is John still here? He doesn't have a microphone, I don't think. He's sending oh, stuff through the chat. John's got new, no mic. A chat? Oh, that, yeah, that's like, that is lame, John. <laughs> <laughs> that is lame. Chat, I can't handle that. Um, I could try to get him a microphone. Yeah. I've got one laying around. He's got one built into his laptop. So, you know, so what, I, what I'm going to ask is that, you know, you guys play around with these ideas and um, that's kind of, that's going back to the third wiki. And then it shows up again in the next exercise. After your discourse, you go back to objects again and then work on projects. But um, this is a kind of a quick introduction to some thinking a little bit about the, um, about objects and playing in three dimensions. Um, these, by the way, these links are really kind of cool. Um, you can like generate, this is like the SVG graphics, right? It's, um, I think if you, ch and this is the same as TiddlyWiki, you play with these parameters. Oh, there's a four by four. I changed this to PZL equals four. I don't know how big it can get. 16, and that's probably pushing it. Oops. Um, six, does six. Um, and you can make it, it's an SVG graphic and you can make it bigger. <laughs> and I have not figured out what these are yet. I think these might be the colors. or something, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I am trying to figure out a way to bring this logic into the wiki world so that we can play with it. Um, and this could become a project for anybody who wanted to play with that. I don't know, oh, that's, there we go, solved. I wonder if you blow it up to about, I don't know what, a huge amount, of, a huge size, and then you could uh, put in a, uh, there you go, now try to increase the, um, from 16 to whatever we had on there, we could do, like, I don't know, whatever you want to put in there, that might work too. No, well, the, the it's, yeah, this, 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 these two dimensions are going to be totally independent of each other. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 16 is just not, I think, I don't know, it maxes at something, maybe it's eight. Okay. And Just so, curious. Yeah. What I'm interested in is if if this were show, showing on our wiki, we should be able to navigate and see instead of colors there, we should be able to see the pictures that we're putting in. Does does the wiki run PHP? Um, it can. Okay. We shouldn't need PHP, but we could use it. I mean, I would start with a two by two. And if you can get if you can get your images to show on the faces of this, okay. Now we're talking. Now, now looking at this, right? Rubik's cube. Well, what if you were to twist the cube, the top level, right? If you were to twist it in a wiki, that's kind of an interesting way to navigate images inside of a web page. If you can make this twist, that would be cool. So that's what that's kind of a one of the adventures that you're able to pursue. Okay.